So today we are doing lesson 104, rounding decimal numbers to the nearest whole number. So as a bit of a review, um, we can see uh, $7.56. So is that closer to $7 or $8? So $7.56 is in between those two dollar amounts. So we know that 750 is right in the middle. So where would 756 be on this? So I would think it would be right about here. So it's a little bit more than halfway uh, between $7 and $8. So you could say, estimating it to the nearest dollar, it would be $8. All right, now we're going to round 7 and 6 tenths to the nearest whole number. So we know that halfway between 7 and 8 is 7 and 5 tenths, or 7 and a half. So where would 7 and 6 tenths be on this line? So it would probably be right around here. So what is 7 and 6 tenths closer to? What whole number is it closer to? Is it closer to 7 or closer to 8? Be closer to 8. All right, now we're going to estimate the product of $8.78, or let's just say 8 and 78 hundredths, and 6 and 12 hundredths. So remember before we, um, first of all, what does product mean? It's the answer when you do what? Okay, I hope you said the answer when you multiply. Okay, so when we estimate, we are going to round this to the nearest whole number. So what would be the nearest whole number be um, of 7 and 78 hundredths? Would it be closer to, to 8 or closer to 9? Well, it's past 8.5, so it would be closer to 9. All right, and then what about 6 and 12 hundredths? Is that closer to 6 or closer to 7? So we would say it's closer to 6 because it's not at 6 and 5 tenths yet. So if we are estimating the product of 8 and 78 hundredths and 6 and 12 hundredths, it would be 9 times 6, which is 54. Okay, so now we are going to estimate the area of this rectangle right here. So when we estimate, we are going to round it to the nearest whole number. Okay, and the way that we find area of a rectangle is multiplying the length times the width. Okay, so we're going to estimate, we're going to round 12 and 2 tenths centimeters to the nearest whole number, which would be, would it be closer to 12 or 13? 12, because it isn't at 2 and 5 tenths yet. So what about 7 and 8 tenths? Is that closer to 7 or closer to 8? I hope you said 8. Okay, so we're going to multiply this. 96 centimeters. All right, and it is area. So is it just centimeters, or what is the right unit that we're using for this? Should be centimeters square, or you could say 96 square centimeters. Either way, is you can put. All right, go ahead and get out your independent worksheet and pause the video and work on these and we'll check them tomorrow.